showdown of faith. It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. God is with you, and this situation of yours is going to change. But this show is here to bring hope to the hopeless, to prove to you that there is a solution. Now, on the air with Bishop Joshua. The Showdown of Faith. Up America, the Spirit of God is with you. Wherever you may be right now, I say to you, be blessed. Yes, I say it again, be blessed, because this is what God has, what God wants for you, a blessed life. Always remember what Jesus said, you are in the midst of a problem. You have problems from everywhere. You cannot cope anymore. You are suicidal. Always remember what Jesus said. I came to give you life. Which kind of life? A blessed life. That's why from now on you are going to be with me in the showdown of faith. A show that is for you. You who are fed up of words, you want actions, you want results. I brought to you today this program, Less Talk and More Power. From now on, you can start calling us. Nor is going to receive your name, the name of your family, and we are going to place inside of the holy oil. Nori, Anybody can call us. The helpline, the crew in the helpline is ready. And these people are available to talk to anybody that call in. That is correct, Bishop Joshua. And the number that all the viewers can dial right now, 1-888-332-4141. You call the helpline, you'll speak with one of the counselors. And once I have your name, the problem that you're facing on a prayer card, it will be placed here inside of the whole oil those of you who are watching us through social media whether it's through YouTube through Facebook feel free to leave your prayer request on the comments below you can also send your prayer request through text message if you prefer to text that number one eight 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 312-4141. That's the number for the text message. Even if you have a question for Bishop Joshua, you can go ahead and text it. Prepare a cup of water, a bottle of water. Set it close to your television because before the end of the program, Bishop Joshua will pray for all of you. And this prayer will bless you in this month of February. We are praying that from the beginning to the end, God may bless you. Today, February the 2nd, this Tuesday, we are going to pray before the end of this day, the Lord is going to bless your life. I want you to give me your attention right now and watch together with me what are the roots of all your problems. Have you ever wondered what has been the cause of your problems? Your children are addicted to drugs. I wanted to explore new friends. You are battling with a terminal disease. Well, the reason we've been doing these tests, the CBC, the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel, the mammogram, um, let's get right down to it. Mrs. Flores, you have invasive breast cancer. And your husband recently lost his job. You're fired. Uh, for real? You're fired. For real. 
Yes, you're fired. Your life does not bear good fruits because of the evil root that has been penetrating in every area. Every problem has its root. It's like a tree. There is no tree without a root because the tree survives by its root. But if the root is evil or has an evil spirit in it, all the fruits of this tree will be bad fruits. It is going to affect your family. You are going to have a sleepless night. Hey, you have this family problem? Give me a call right now. I can talk to you today on the program, here on the show. It is a live show. I can talk to you right now, wherever you may be. It's a live show. It is now 5.05 in the morning, Houston Central Time. You can give us a call right now. If you cannot sleep, you have sleep last night. This is your problem. Or else you have a health problem. Because you don't sleep, you have this health problem. These are the roots of evil in your finances. You know, a financial problem brings also the marital problem. Now your marriage has been affected as well. What about addictions? We are going to learn today the story of Francisca. She had this addiction, addicted to pills, and she was also angry. This lady by me, she has a long story to tell us, even to be here the whole day. But in seven, in seven minutes, I want you to learn her story. If you are on drugs, or you have a daughter on drugs, she was on drugs and she was a troublemaker, the headache of the family. You know somebody that is called the black sheep? She was the one, but no longer. The evil root was removed from her life. Jesus said, let us now read the Bible. Jesus said, for a good tree does not bear bad fruits, because the tree is good. No does a bad tree, the tree that is bad, bear good fruits. For every tree is known by its own fruits. Well, let me tell you something. In the case of Francisca, she was doing all these things. She was known as the black sheep of the family because she had the bad roots, the bad spirit was upon her life. I want you to stop, please, whatever you're doing. You are preparing things in the house. You are ready to go out. Give me some minutes. Let us watch together her story. The opium poppy has been cultivated for many centuries, as far back as 3400 BC, and is the source of opium. The so-called plant of joy was used recreationally, but with experiments and advancement of technology, it was possible to develop medicines that unto this day are one of the most widely used in the world, morphine and heroin. Codeine, which is what is in the pain medication, which is what makes you feel good, that comes from like opiates, which are the poppy plant, which is like synthetic heroin. Synthetic or natural, legal or illicit, opiate drugs are very effective painkillers, but they are also highly addictive. So they have these pills called Dilatas, um, Dilatas and Oxycontin, Oxycodone. These are like synthetic heroin in a pill, legal heroin pretty much. So people would um, melt them down and then like a spoon, they'd melt it down and, sh and shoot it up. All drugs that are abused cause this unnatural release of this hormone called dopamine. Dopamine plays a role in how we feel pleasure. And because of that, they are among the most powerful experiences our brain can have. It's opiate addiction is so strong right now in America. It's just, it, it's accepted. Just like kind of like alcohol is accepted, you know it's bad for you, you know it has bad side effects, you know it kills people when they're driving on the road, but if you're with your family, it's okay to drink it. 
And it's okay to have a beer or two here and there. So people who say they're not drug addicts, who say they don't have a problem, these same people have a purse full of pills and they're saying they're not addicts but they can't go without the medication. People are dying. It's getting worse. It's everywhere. You can't escape the dire declarations these days with the CDC labeling overdose deaths epidemic. But to when someone stops taking opioids, the body releases stress hormones and the addict has to face the lowest point of their addiction, withdrawal symptoms. You're just against everything that's you, any kind of pot, alcohol, Anxiety, pain, intense dysphoria are just some of the symptoms that they must endure. The drugs that at first were used for a recreational high now becomes part of their lives. I get out from the hospital and go back to buy some drugs. Well, you're going I don't know what's wrong with the all addict is the same shit. I don't know what's wrong with, with us. You know? It becomes a dependency to even execute the smallest tasks such as getting out of bed in the morning. We are like a puppet. You know, the, uh, like uh, the heroin is in, in here and, and the pop, uh, we are the puppet and the, the, the heroin moves, the, 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 you know, the, the string and we move. The best way to understand the effects of opioids in the brain, we need to hear someone who was once addicted. And that's Frances Wiley. She felt it in her skin, the effects in the withdrawal of opioids. I remember the first time I took pills, that high, I was so sick, but I was so high at the same time. And I always chased that high. And then over time, your body starts to become used to that drug and starts to become used to that amount you're doing. So then you always have to do more, always have to do more. In order to get that high, right? But you never get that first high back. You never do, but you're always chasing that initial high. That's what I lived for, to be able to cuddle up on the couch, watching Netflix with my pills in my hand and my Dr. Pepper and just pass out and wake up and miss like three episodes of my show and have to rewind it pop a bunch of pills again, pass out, miss those same episodes. And it was like a vicious cycle over and over and over again. But yet that is what addicts enjoy, to be able to get so high to where you just pass out and you sleep it off. Young girl just died. Overdose. She's not responsive at all. So what made the change was, the first I had to make the decision within myself to let it go, to finally just say I'm done. Because when you're an addict, they say, like you have to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like I was beyond sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was exhausted. Like I couldn't take one more step. I was so worn out. And so that is what changed because I was willing to let go of whatever I had to let go of in order to do things the right way. Not do things my way, but to do things the right way. I first came to the church because I was invited by this guy and that totally changed my whole life because then that was when I was received the Holy Spirit. And I know that if if I did not have the Holy Spirit, the things that happened to me after that fast would have easily caused me to go back to my addiction. But only because the Holy Spirit was inside of me and was giving me that strength, then I was able to like overcome when my grandma passed away. That would have been a legit reason for me to be like, oh, I gotta get high now because my grandma passed. And no, instead it didn't bother me. Instead I was there like as a support for my family. And from then, every like my whole life started to totally transform ever since that fast of Daniel. And it has been amazing. Sometimes I don't even feel like I'm in my own body because I look at my life and it's like, there's no way, dude, that I could be in jail in County Orange, not even three years ago with an addiction that I could not stop, with hatred in my heart, hating everybody, didn't care about anybody. To me being in a church, you know, following God, doing what God wants me to do, having a relationship with my dad, my family trusting me, me not being angry or hateful towards people. Like my whole life started to change. 
addiction has proven to be a serious problem that has gone out of control. However, there have been surprising outcomes for those who fight addictions by using their faith in the God of the Bible. There are no addictions or withdrawals stronger than the power of God. If you're struggling with opioid addiction or know somebody that is and wants to stop, there is a place where you can find the living faith that will set you free. The Universal Church, where a better life awaits you. You think you are going to leave a message. You are going to <laughs> this is a joke. A pastor is going to answer me? <laughs> no way. People, let me show them. It's a life helpline. <laughs> Who is going to be willing to answer calls at this time? See right now, are real. You are reluctant to call. You know what? I'm going to call. Single day. Perhaps it's not like someone is really going to answer. To work, you never call. Hello, this is the show on faith. How may I assist you? My Lord and my Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, right now, I mean this. The showdown of faith helpline is filled with men and women of God ready to help and assist you. So I'm going to make a prayer right now for your family. Please close your eyes. Hi, this is the showdown of faith. How may I help you? When you call 1-888-332-4141, your name and prayer request will be written on a prayer card to be placed inside of the holy oil. The holy oil represents the presence of God. And when your name is submerged in the holy oil, the power of God will begin to work in your life. Call now to have your name and family member's name submerged in the holy oil. 1-888-332-4141. The helpline is available to you. You can give us a call. I do have names of those who've been calling the helpline asking for prayer for their names to be placed here inside of the holy oil. We have Mrs. Margie. She is asking prayer for complete healing in her body. Mrs. Margie, your name I'm placing right now inside of the holy oil. Miss Mary Reed from Newark, New Jersey. She says there's a curse upon the family and she wants total deliverance not only for herself but for her entire family. We have Andrea. She is asked in prayer for her daughter to be set free from drug addiction. She wants financial blessings and good health. And we have Mrs. Minnie. She is asked in prayer for her loved ones. She even left their names so it can be placed inside of the holy oil. She is also asked in prayer for prosperity and total healing. Miss Minnie and those mentioned, your names are here inside of the holy oil. You can send your prayer request through text message. If you're watching us through Facebook, YouTube, leave your prayer request on the comments below. This is the number for the text message 1-888-312-4141. Help is at hand and is just a phone call away. It doesn't matter how you are, what your pain or what your suffering is. Jesus Christ is telling you now, speak out, I'm all ears. I have right now Mr. Timothy. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Mr. Timothy, tell me, what is your problem? How can I help you? Because I will pray for you. My problem is um, I'm losing my motor skill. I can't see. I'm legally blind. I can't how to walk. Some, some days I had good days, I had bad days where I can't talk or you walk straight. There's a lot of strike in the family. My finance, I ain't got no finance. I just need a miracle in my life, my family, and my finance. Your situation is not good at all for you. But this situation... Lovely. This situation is a good situation for the power of God. Those who came to him in the same situation of yours, God was able to transform their lives. Mr. Timothy, I want you to hold the right. phone. Hold your phone just as you are holding my hand. We are going to put our hands together right now. And the Spirit okay. of God will enter your body. 
hold the phone. For now you are holding my hand. Close your eyes. My Lord, he cannot take it anymore. Jesus, he cannot take it anymore. That's why I ask you, enter his body and remove once and for all the diseases from the top of his head down to the feet. He shall be able to walk, to talk, to see, give to him a healthy life. Bless his finances. Transform his life right now and remove the bad spirit. O oh God of miracles, you did in the life of Francisca. Do in the life of Mr. Timothy as well. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mr. Timothy, be healed, yes, sir. be free, be blessed by the power of God. Yes, sir. I want, before you go, I want you to listen to this video. Because Diane, she had suffered from diabetes over 15 long years. Let us watch together. My name is Diane Jackson. I have been struggling with this problem for 15 years of diabetes. High blood sugars, your blood, your, the blood, my, the sugar in my blood was high. There's certain things you can't eat. Anything that, that has carbohydrates in it produces sugar, which causes your blood sugar and diabetes to be high. My husband had to, he struggled hard. Uh, a lot of bills got behind and everything because he, we didn't have any insurance at the time to pay for the insulin that I had to, in, insulin injection that I had to pay for. Um, for my diabetes. So that went on for about maybe six months. And I mean, he took jury to the pawn shop. He worked overtime. He did whatever he could do to get that medicine, to pay for that. And it's like $800 per month. walking down the street one day and I just, I don't know what led me in there. I mean, the church is right in the neighborhood and on the same side of the street where I live. And the, the sermon was so powerful till I just could not leave. A week later, after my first week, the next week I went back to my endocrinologist, which is a diabetic specialist. And he says, what's, what's going on with you? And I said, that. I don't know, what are you talking about? He says, something good is going on and it's, it's amazing. And I says, okay, Dr. Ghazi, what are you talking about? He says, your blood sugars are so low and so normal. It is amazing. He says, I'll tell you what, when you come back, I'm taking you off the insulin. Today, I don't have to spend $800 a month for insulin. I'm here to say today that the Universal Church is powerful. Come into the door of the Universal Church. You'll be surprised of the amazing things that happen in your life. God, not only did He heal me, He blessed me with my very first house. Being a part of the Universal Church in one month and a half, God has healed me. God has provided me with my home. And He transformed my life out in peace now. I'm just happy. And I have so much faith, faith that I've never had before. The Lord Jesus healed her life, her body. Mr. Timothy. Yes, sir. Mrs. Jackson was spending 800 on medications every month. But now the Lord Jesus has healed her and she is the living proof that the power of God is the same. And you are going to be also the living proof. All right? Yes, sir. I want you, Mr. Timothy, to stay on the line for me because Monique is going to get information from you. Pastor Diego will contact you even today. All right? Okay. All right. God bless you. Have a good one. You too. 
Amen. Lord, right now we have Mrs. John. She is in need of a prayer. Can you get her information so that I can pray for her? Yes. Uh, hello, Mrs. John. Yes. What is the problem, Joanne? That Mrs. Joanne, what is the problem that you're going through that you're facing right now? I'm having arthritis really bad. I've had it since a child. And I have already had two hips and two knees and both elbows replaced. My hands and my wrists are crippled up like. And I have a crippled foot, which has had surgery several times, only to make it worse. Um, I have chronic bronchitis every day. My lungs are really bad. Uh, and my problem, big problem, is my husband died a year, two years ago, and either a devil or a spirit is using his body to uh, haunt me, or I don't know what, but he's just making my life very hard and getting harder. Um, he monkeys around with my equipment, and he comes to my apartment all the time. I don't see him. I don't hear him. He won't talk. He does have nothing to do with me except play with my equipment, uh, move my chairs, just everything a devil, I think, would do. Just make my life hell. Miss Joanne. Yes. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Lori. Let me tell you something. I heard your story. I heard your voice. You have a voice of someone that is tired. Someone that is tired of suffering. You came yes. to a point you cannot take it anymore. But I want you yes. to understand that the problems that you are facing, all these problems, they have roots. The roots of your problems are evil. In this ministry, we do not, uh, we do not doubt the doctors, their knowledge. We do not advise anybody to stop their medication, stop going to the doctor. But this is my duty to tell you the truth, and the truth will set you free. The roots are evil. Once the roots are good, are blessed, the whole tree bear good fruit. Jesus said in his word that a good tree does not bear bad fruit. If the fruit of your life, even though many people name themselves, call themselves as Christians, believers, but they have bad fruits, bad results, bad outcome. He said, no does a bad tree bear good fruit. Everyone or every tree or everybody is known by its own fruit. Mrs. Joanne. Hello? Yes. I am going to bless you right now. Do you believe you can oh, be blessed God. right now? Hello? Okay. Do you believe you can be blessed right now? Yes, I do. Okay. Hold the phone as you are holding my hand. Close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes now. Okay. Joanne, be blessed now. Have your body restored. I speak to the problems that you are having. Arthritis, bronchitis, this disease in your body, depression, anxiety, all the problems that you have. I rebuke all of them in the name of Jesus. And I say, Get out in Jesus' name and never ever return. Amen. Amen. Breathe now in and out. Breathe. <laughs> Amen. 
means your end, the days of your suffering have come to an end. Yesterday was the last day because today my God has transformed your life. Let me tell you something. I'm praying all the time. I pray, pray, pray. Yeah, but now you have received a strong prayer. A prayer to uproot the problem. And now I tell you something. In seven days, God created everything. In six days, on the seventh, he rested. I say to you, in seven days, we are going to hear a beautiful testimony from you. All right? Yes. I, I have love Pastor it. Diego. He is the spiritual mentor. And he is the one that is going to contact you and help you. All right? Yes. Stay on the line for me. Monique is going to talk to you. In this ministry, we have the spiritual mentor. We have pastors that follow up with those who are in need of spiritual help. If you are in need of spiritual help, you are going to call right now. And the good news is, it is free. You don't need to pay or be on a long line waiting to talk with a pastor. You don't need to schedule for next month. Even today, you can talk to a pastor. Right now, these ones are in the helpline. They are the ones that are answering my calls. However, we have pastors, bishops, that, that can have one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Attention viewers, we appreciate how you have been watching us and you have learned about the power of faith, miracles, and supernatural breakthroughs. As much as viewing our programs has helped you, watching is only half the battle towards your complete victory. This is why the Universal Church now offers a spiritual mentor. As a viewer, you need a spiritual follow-up, and we have many mentors who can counsel you on the next steps you have to take in order to reach your full potential. The spiritual mentor assigned to you will cost you nothing as this service is free of charge. To schedule a meeting with your spiritual mentor, call 1-888-332-4141 for the location nearest you, where your complete transformation will begin. There are many ways that you can be able to reach out for help. It's available to you. All you need to do is just to pick up your phone and give us a call. If you want to call the helpline to speak with a live person right now, the number is 1-888-332-4141. I have more names of those who are continuing to call the helpline, those who are sending their prayer requests through text message as well. I did write down Ms. Joanne's name and all the problems that she did mention. Ms. Joanne, your name is inside of the holy oil we will continue to pray for you mr timothy who also spoke with bishop joshua not too long ago mr timothy your name is inside of the holy oil we have mr west he is asking prayer for his mother who is depressed and he is also asking prayer for a breakthrough in his finances we have mrs lee she is asking prayer for her family for them to be blessed and protected miss lee and those mentioned your names are inside of the holy oil we do have miss sandra who sent her prayer request through text message miss sandra we will be praying for you and for your loved ones you can reach out for help you will receive a respond back but right now let us go to lakeisha's story lakeisha suffered from abuse addiction she was depressed there was also a generational curse in her life but let us watch how she overcame all of this such a short time when you think of the lifetime of hurt, anger, and pain. That's a long time for one year to get for your life to change around. As far as provision for my children or being a mother, uh, being empathetic to them. No more depression, none at all. Not even when my favorite team loses. <laughs> Lakeisha Douglas. I'm a resident
resident here in Oklahoma City. I attend the Universal Church. My mother was married to a gentleman. Um, and he was very abusive. Um, and she was trying to leave. And she had left. And she was living with my grandmother and her siblings. And he came to the house while she was sleeping. And he's had the bat on fire with her in it. It was like a curse. And it had like a generational curse. It came from my mother and then it came from me too. I remember moving to um, Virginia, my daughter's father. And um, he was very controlling. And I was so naive at the time. I thought it was just him caring for me or, he, oh, he loves me. Um, so I would excuse it. And um, I remember being tired. So I told him, I said, I want to leave. And he said, we can never leave. And I said, I have to. I have to because I have to be better for my children. I want to show them a better life. And I don't want to live like this. He became enraged. And I was in our garage for about three days. No food. <laughs> I got into another yet physical abusive relationship with another gentleman, and it just became a cycle. I turned to um, drinking, and I started smoking. I began to um, seek out help from the doctors, trying to get on medication to regulate my my hormones and my attitude, and I thought, well, you know, it's something wrong with me. There's got to be something wrong with me, because everybody's complaint is the same. My mother got invited uh, to church services by a servant of God exactly, you know, one year ago. And we came to the service, and I was a little bit skeptical because uh, previously I had been visiting a lot of churches. And I said, okay, let's see the pastor, <laughs> you know. And I sat down, I listened to the message, and I felt such peace. I remember that night, the first night that I came, I slept. I slept all night long. So I asked my mom, I said, do you want to go back to the service? She said, I don't know. Do you? I said, most definitely I want to go back. The first thing that I was delivered from was depression. I woke up every day with peace and gratitude. And it started showing in my family life the most. Um, my children, they noticed a change in me. They sat down and they talked to me and they said, Mom, we really like the change that you've made. Um, the second thing that I got delivered from was coping with alcohol and from marijuana. I remember having a box of wine in my house and the box was full. I took it right up to the sink and I poured it out. And I remember some friends came over and they're like, do you want to smoke? No, I don't need to smoke. And they're like, uh, how are you gonna make it through the week? God, make it through the week with God. So I figured out a way that I could cook and I can make money. Um, and I started just in my kitchen, you know, uh, cooking meals and delivering them. And it just took on, oh, it, it got bigger than what I could even hope for or imagine. I was delivering so many meals. I would be so tired. I had to employ my children to help me. The second business came along. I didn't have the finances to, to obtain the business. I got a phone call and somebody gave me a business and it's been very profitable. It's been very lucrative. I was living with my mom, um, me and my seven children. We had one bedroom to ourselves. In just that short time, I've come to the Universal Church and it changed my life and me giving my trust and my all to God. He delivered me from my situation. And I didn't just move into a normal house, I moved into a brand new house. And everything in my home is brand new. My car that I had, when I had it, I got it right before I started coming to the Universal Church, just up and just quit on me one day. I went for the most expensive car. I left with it and I just, I know that there was nothing but God. I thank God for this church and I thank God for changing my life spiritually, mentally, and physically. I no longer struggle 
um, as far as provision for my children or being a mother, um, being empathetic to them and being caring and loving because God has given me the love, the joy and the peace inside of me so that I can be better for my family and for myself as a person. Um, today I feel stronger. Um, I feel that I can with test and abstain anything that is put in front of me. I'm more than a conqueror and I feel that as long as I have God on my side that I can get through anything. No more depression, none at all. Not even when my favorite team loses. <laughs> I feel great. I thank God for that. I feel good. I wake up every day with a purpose. I know that every day is going to be a struggle, but I got God now, and that is the most important thing. Transforming lives. This is what the Spirit of God has done in the Universal Church. And throughout of the year, uh, here through the living faith, God has been transforming many lives. We are now making our first anniversary of this network and we want to do more for you and more for the community. Today I'm going to be praying for your health, for your completely healing. And in this first anniversary, every single day we are praying a special prayer. Saturday we are going to have a special show. It's going to be a live show, 9 in the morning, Central Time. The, the live show is going to be this Saturday, the first anniversary of this network, the Living Faith Network. You are cordially invited to join us as the Universal Living Faith Network celebrates its first year anniversary. To commemorate this special day, each host of our ULFN programs will be making a special daily prayer for all areas of your life, beginning on Monday, February 1st. On Monday, you will receive a prayer for your financial life. On Tuesday, receive a prayer to determine healing. On Wednesday, receive a prayer to strengthen your spiritual journey with God. On Thursday, receive a special blessing for your marriage and entire family. On Friday, prepare for a strong prayer of deliverance. And on Saturday, February 6th, join Bishop Joshua live as he hosts a special anniversary program only on the Universal Living Faith Network at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Don't miss our special first anniversary commemoration and remember to share it with your friends and family. In the past, the people of God were far from God. The Hebrew slaves needed a liberator and most importantly, to reconcile with God. After the exodus from Egypt on Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the tablets of God's law. And the mission of the construction of the tabernacle and of the Ark of God's Pact. The people needed to understand that in order to be free, they needed to change their way of thinking and to make a pact with God. The Ark is a symbol of God's covenant with mankind. It represents God's power always going ahead in battle. Through this pact with God, the people of Israel began to overcome in life. When we look at the Ark of the Testimony, it reminds us that the miracles that God did in the past are real. And that new and even greater things will happen in the life of those who make a pact with God. If you are fed up of having your life marked by problems, decide today to make a pact with God. When you sow your seed of $50 or more, you will receive a small replica of the ark that represents God's pact. To know more on how to make a pact with God and receive your own ARC replica, call 1-888-691-2291. A covenant is something spiritual. A covenant is something between you and God. Nobody sees it. Nobody knows you have a covenant with God. 
all they see is the result of this covenant. Make a pact with God. Make a vow with God. How do you want February to be? What do you expect? What do you want for this second month of 2021? Make a pact with God that will bless your life throughout of this month of February. As I have here this calendar, and we are praying that the Spirit of God bless you from the beginning to the end of February. I know this is the shortest month. However, in this month, the God of the Bible will bless your life. The ark is the symbol of God's presence, God's power, and once the ark goes ahead of you, who will be against you? As the scripture says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Nobody. So now make your vow with God. Sow your seed into this ministry. We are daily praying, day and night actually, praying for you and praying for your finances. God hears our prayers. That's why we have so many testimonies in this ministry. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. You shall eat the best of the land. This is what is written, Isaiah 1:19. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. So right now, go ahead and sow a seed. There is no minimum, no maximum. But if you have your seed of a hundred, a thousand, a seed of fifty, a twenty, twenty-five, there is no minimum, no maximum. Go in your faith. Call in your faith. However, I am calling those who have this faith to sow the seed of fifty dollars or more. You are going to sow the seed. We are going to ship to you the ark, the ark of the covenant. You see this replica of the ark? We are going to send it to your house. Not just to decorate your house, but as a symbol of faith. Go ahead and sow the seed. The number is there on your screen. one 691 Sow the seed, the Lord is going to bless your life. Let us watch the testimony of this gentleman. He made a pact 50-50 with God. The Lord blessed him. My financial struggles uh, start uh, because of the uh, the addiction. I used to to drink and I became half drinker, and then I had uh, I, st I start uh, doing drugs. That's when uh, my finance, really my financial, went down the drain because of the addiction. I couldn't work it anymore. That's the point that my financial really started to, to, to go bad because of the addiction. I start I start going to, to the church, and I learned that I could fight for my financial. I start doing. My do my vows and that's when I started to see uh, the prosperity in our life. I didn't hesitate to do what I had to do and that vow is still call out for me until this day. We have conquered cars, we we're able to conquer this house. This, uh, this house today, I never thought I was able to conquer a house of that size. Five bedroom, four bathrooms, a, a big house sitting on uh, one acre of property. And uh, we conquer other, other properties as in, investment uh, properties. We were in a fight for six and a, six and a half years. We did vows already with uh, 45,000. God's gonna give me a condition to, to not just give in a vow, but to build churches. I'm not gonna die without conquering this, conquer this vow. And this will be fulfilled very soon.
you are going to learn right now how to make a pact with God. There are two ways where on how you can do that. You can call, but also you can send me a letter. Nori, those who can send the letter, what are the steps on how to write the letter, how to make their vow, their pledge, their pact with God through letters? Well, those of you who make your pact through letters, you can be able to do the following. You can be able to do it either with a check or money order, always making sure that the check or money order is written under the Universal Church, never under the name of an individual or the showdown of faith or even leaving the check or money order in blank, but just as you see it there on your screen, you can be able to send in your prayer request as well and the address that you can post your pact with. Two, it's 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. These are just some of the many, many letters that Bishop Joshua has received on a daily basis and throughout a long period of time as well. Those of you who write letters, you will receive a respond back, just as many people have received a respond back. So you can feel free to go ahead and prepare your letter. You can even send it off today. The address, once again, 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. The Ark of the Covenant is a holy and sacred object. It represents the presence of God. When you enter into a 50-50 covenant with God, where 50% depends on you and the other 50% depends on God, He will go ahead of you and will not allow anything to stand before you, just as it happened in the past. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. To receive a replica of the Ark in your home, follow these steps. Step one, decide to make a 50-50 pact with God. Step two, reserve your replica of the Ark by calling 1-888-691-2291. Or by sending your letter to 7075 Southwest Freeway, Houston, Texas, 77074. When sending your check or money order, always write it under the name of the Universal Church. Step three, when you receive the ark, pray with it in the midst of your home every morning and night. The Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God ahead of you. Now I have Mrs. Janet. Hello. Hello. All, all the way from Florida. Tell me, what is your problem? I have um, cysts on my kidney, and I also uh, have arthritis on different parts of my body. You suffer from arthritis for over 10 years? Yes. And you have a cyst uh, on the kidneys? Yes. Okay. Our God is a God that reverses any situation. He's going to reverse your situation because it says the Lord will cause your enemies, enemies that rise against you, to be defeated before your face. It is going to happen. All right? Okay. And the Spirit of God will deliver you and will set you free. Miss Jeanette had called us, we prayed for her. Now she's back on the line with a good news. Hello. Hello, Bishop. Hey, Miss Jeanette, how are you? I well, I rest uh, pretty well last night. I slept a little better. I wasn't hurting as much on my side and my right side. And um, I had a pretty uh, better um, night last night. As I received my art on uh, yesterday and the healing water and uh and I 
drank some of the healing water, and I prayed and with the art in my hand, and I get on the kind of that the Lord have blessed me where I had a pretty good night on last night. Amen. I'm glad to hear your story, and I want you to keep praying with the ark, okay? Okay, I sure will. And keep drinking your water, and I'm glad to know that the Lord is blessing your life. Uh, you are able to sleep, no more pain, but keep watching us and also tell somebody else about us. I sure will. God bless you. Have a good one. You too, Bishop, and thanks for the prayer. You are welcome. Talking about the prayer, we are going to pray right now. Today, the prayer is the prayer for healing. As every day, we are praying a special prayer in this first anniversary. If you are watching me, you have been watching us perhaps for the, f the whole year since we have begun here. Even though you have your own church, you belong to another ministry, but you have been blessed by praying with us. So give us a call and share with us your testimony, your story, just like Miss Janet. Call us right now. Let us know what the Lord has done in your life through the Living Faith Network. Right now we are going to pray. Get your cup of water, wherever you may be. Let us now pray together. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. Oh God Almighty, God of the Bible, you have blessed Mrs. Janet, Lakeisha, Francisca, and many others in this ministry. There are people that are unknown. I don't know, but I, you are work wonders, great miracles in their lives. My Lord, but there is this person battling with cancer, dialysis, liver, kidney, lungs problem. Lord, but I know that you are the God of the Bible. I know that you are the healer. I know that you can set this person free once and for all. So, Holy Spirit, visit those who are in coma, ICU, this person that can't breathe. Lord, deliver this person from the oxygen tank. Raise this person from this wheelchair. Lord, raise them, transform their lives. Let this person's life be changed, transformed by your power. Oh God Almighty, we present to you this cup of water. What medications, doctors, prayers, church service could not do? Do it yourself right now. Heal this body. Deliver this person. Those who suffer from insomnia, Lord, clean up the roots of this tree. Remove the bad spirit, evil spirit, so that this person will bear good fruits. Open their ways. Bless this day. Bless February. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, accept now healing. Just as you accept forgiveness, accept healing. Be healed, be free in the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ has blessed you. You are good to go. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Come to see me in Houston, Texas. 7075 Southwest Freeway. The church is just over there between Belaya and Hillcroft. Make this place to be your home church. I will be there waiting for you. Every single day we have services and pastors available to see you. Stay tuned. The second hour of the show, Our Faith, Pastor Márcio, Pastor Samuel Nori, they are going to be all here assisting you. Oh, mm-hmm. 